The president is not a representative of the political establishment class, so for whatever reason the people have made a decision that they want to eject him, Mr. Scaramucci said Donald Trump's former communications director Anthony Scaramucci has said there are people in Washington trying to have Mr. Trump removed as president. Mr. Scaramucci, who was sacked last month after just 10 days on the job, told ABC there are elements within the White House trying to eject Mr. Trump, according to the BBC. What happens, in Washington, is the president is not a representative of the political establishment class, so for whatever reason the people have made a decision that they want to eject him, Mr. Scaramucci said, I think there are elements inside of Washington, also inclusive in the White House, that are not necessarily abetting the president's interests or his agenda. When asked to identify the individuals, he said he had already named some names and strategic changes were in place, the BBC reported. However, he added that Mr. Trump needed to bring in more loyalists to carry out his agenda. During his brief time working for the U.S. president, Mr. Scaramucci turned the White House upside down. His hiring led to the departures of both Sean Spicer and Reince Priebus, Mr. Trump's former press secretary and chief of staff, respectively. Mr. Scaramucci told a New Yorker reporter Mr. Priebus was a paranoid schizophrenic, a paranoic and accused him of leaking information to journalists. The following day, Mr. Trump announced, on Twitter that he was replacing Mr. Priebus with John Kelly, the Secretary of Homeland Security. After more than 200 days in office, Mr. Trump has still not secured a major legislative victory. More about Donald Trump Anthony Scaramucci Reuse content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more. We've noticed that you are using an ad blocker. Advertising helps fund our journalism and keep it truly independent. It helps to build our international editorial team, from war correspondents to investigative reporters, commentators to critics. Click here to view instructions on how to disable your ad blocker, and help us to keep providing you with free-thinking journalism for free. Thank you for your support. How to disable your ad blocker for independent.co.uk ad block ad block plus click the ad block ad block plus icon, which is to the right of your address bar. On Adblock click Don't run on pages on this domain. On Adblock Plus click Enabled on this site to disable ad blocking for the current website you are on. If you are in Firefox click Disable on independent.co.uk. Firefox Tracking Protection If you are private browsing in Firefox, tracking protection may cause the ad block notice to show. It can be temporarily disabled by clicking the shield icon in the address bar. Ghostery Click the Ghostery icon. In versions before 6.0 click whitelist site. In version 6.0 click trust site or add independent.co.uk to your trusted site list. In versions before 6.0 you will see the message site is whitelisted. Click reload the page to see your changes. You block click the you block icon. Then click the big power button to whitelist the current website and its state will be remembered next time you visit the website. Then reload the page. Thank you for supporting independent.co.uk.